Hey, hello my dear friends, how are you doing today? Yeah, we are going to check about comparatives and superlative adjectives. Very good. But what is a comparative and a superlative? Let's begin. When we speak about a comparative adjective is when I want to express that something is more and a characteristic than another one. Let's look at this graphic here. A and B. And if I want to use the adjective tall, which is a short adjective, I can make the comparison like this. A is taller than B. Okay? That is how you make a comparison. But here, you have to use a subject, am, is, or are, and you're going to use an adjective and the ending er. That means more. So, and then you're going to use the word than that connects the comparative with the first noun and the second noun. Yes? So, A, A is tall, layer than B. A is taller than B. James is shorter than Kevin. Yes, I am smarter than my brother. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, yes, I am smarter than my brother. <laughs> All right, don't forget that. But what happens if I have a long adjective, like intelligent? I cannot say intelligenter. Mm -mm, no, it is not possible. So how do we use a comparative? Like this. We are going to use when we have an adjective that is long, like three or more syllables, we are going to use the subject, and is R. Then I'm going to use more, and the adjective, with no changes, than, and a noun. For example, in this case you see A has an A, and B has an F in the test. So, A is more intelligent than B. Or, James is more careful than Kevin. Or, James is more interesting than my sister. Alright? That is when you want to use a long adjective. And that is a comparative, when I compare one thing and another thing. But what happens if I have one, two, three, four, five things, and I want to mention the one that is on top? Hmm. In that case, you use a superlative, like this. For example, I have A, B, C, and they have different heights. Yes, in this case, B is taller than A, and B is also taller than C. And if I want to mention only the top, I'm going to use a superlative. And how do you use a superlative? Just like this. You're going to use the subject, am, is, or are. You are going to use the word the. An adjective and the ending est. Est. And you can use expressions like in or off. Okay, let's see some examples. You see the, okay. A is taller than B, no. C is taller than B, no. So B is taller than C. In conclusion, V is the tallest student in the class, in the class or of the class. James is the fastest runner in my class, okay? Tom is the cutest person in the world, all right? The top. Or the Everest is the highest mountain in the world. But what happens? Same as in comparatives, when I have a long, Adjective, I cannot use, for example, interestest or interestingest. I cannot say that. If the adjective is interesting, I have to use this. Subject plus am is or are, I'm going to use the, and I have to use the word most. The most, the adjective with no changes, and in or of. For example, in this case, I have three homeworks. Here I have, for example, A has a B plus, B has an A, and C has a C. So, which is on top? Correct. V is on top. So I say, V is the most careful student. Or James is the most intelligent in the class. Okay? Or mathematics is the most difficult subject for many students. The most. And that is comparatives and superlatives. Don't forget, I'm going to send you a link over here so you can practice and I will see you in the next class with some more interesting topics in English. So, have fun!
fun and have a good day. Goodbye.